Hello, it's been a while since I've checked in um, and a lot's happened. So I am now in Melbourne. So I've moved, I'm now in Melbourne and just starting to feel my way around things. Um, part of the move and this is part of also um, not only moving, I mean moving is emotional and stressful enough, but part of the cancer journey is sometimes you just get overwhelmed and that's why I haven't been on for a little while because I have just been on some days completely overwhelmed and the the emotions caught up with me because in Port Macquarie there was a lot of doing and I'm very good at doing at, at just getting stuff done um, unfortunately that also means that you're not necessarily processing so when in Port Macquarie it was like all right we have surgery we have recovery we have surgery we have surgery we have recovery we're waiting for appointments getting ready to move to Melbourne finishing off with the unit I was in making sure my son was um, you know settled and happy where he was a lot of doing and so the emotional processing quite a bit of that didn't hit until I got here because I ticked off so many boxes on the doing side of things and unfortunately the the, um, the emotional dump happened to Christmas Day my poor partner Robin woke up to me in tears and it was my first ever Christmas in 31 years without at least one of my children with me for part of the day. And that was just the trigger for a whole lot of stuff to download. And um, in a way, it was a really good clearing. And I think it's really important for people to understand, particularly the carers, great for the people with the cancer to understand, but particularly for the carers, is that there's going to be emotional downloads and there's going to be emotional dumps. And what also goes with that is being told you've got cancer changes you. Like, this is my second time. So I feel like I'm I'm a bit of a cat in that I'm on my third life now and I've got another warning. And that changes you. And with that um, comes an emotional, a very emotional process as you sit back and you look at things to go, well, how do we stop this from happening again? And so there's, there's emotional dumps that come with that. So that's been happening. Um, another thing I wanted to share is I've actually had my first appointment with my oncology naturopath. Um, not someone I've dealt with before. And she's here in Melbourne and absolutely brilliant. And the thing I love about um, this lady, her name's Carla Wren, and she's at the uh, Peninsula Herbal Dispensary in Mornington. And what I love about this is that she's not only a naturopath, so she does the alternative complementary therapies, but she works in with the oncology teams. And so she works in conjunction with standard Western medicine. So she's not telling you not to get radiation and chemo and all of that sort of stuff. She's going, all right, look, I think that stuff's necessary. And how do we boost its performance? How do we protect the body? How do we boost your immune system so that you get the best care possible by combining the two of them um but with that comes testing and things about the body that i've never come across and my cancers were estrogen positive and progesterone positive which means that they feed on hormones and being perimenopausal um 48 years old my hormones are all over the place and western medicine just goes yeah that's normal um i've even had doctors say to me being estrogen um, dominant is perfectly normal there's no side effects and stuff like that but there's so much literature out there and so much experience of women saying that that is absolutely wrong there's a lot of side effects to being estrogen dominant now I've had the estrogen level tests through western medicine and they've come back either normal or estrogen dominant and that's because Day to day, hour to hour, the hormones go up and down. So they're not actually accurate in terms of the overall picture. What I did this morning was a saliva test. And that was given to me by the naturopath. And what that does is it gauges the hormones in your body to see how many hormones your body is excreting. Because the blood test, the standard Western blood test, as I found out, what they judge is the estrogen that's ready to be released from your system but if your system isn't releasing the estrogen that causes all the side effects and in many many cases um, the naturopath Carla said in about 80% of women who have estrogen positive breast cancer 
their body's not releasing the estrogen and that means it builds up in the system and that's what the cancers are feeding on and that, that's not the only cause but it's it's one of them and so what the saliva test does is it gauges that whether or not you're releasing and that's the important thing because if you're not then you've got all this extra estrogen flowing around in your body and your body's not operating the way it needs to so if this comes back positive for me in that I'm not releasing estrogen then there's something we can do about that that's relatively simple through the complementary pathways now western medicine doesn't test this western medicine doesn't um, have methods to do this and the thing is with my type of cancer the next line of treatment for me regarding the hormones through western medicine is a drug called tamoxifen and there's a number of drugs they can give me but the most common one that they that i've been told will i'll be um suggested i go on is tamoxifen and that will suppress my hormones and basically within weeks force me into a menopausal state so you can imagine the um the uh, state my body's going to be in, a fair amount of physical panic's going to happen here because I'm not menopausal at this moment. I'm leading into it, but I'm not there. And so it's going to force me into a menopausal state. And with that comes the symptoms of menopause. And because I am perimenopausal and the hormones are all over the place, that reaction to this drug can be elevated. And that is things like sore joints, sore muscles. You can feel like you've had a heavy workout in the gym without doing anything every day um, you can get uh, hot flushes mood swings and that sort of stuff you can get sorry to say this on social media you can get dryness in the vagina you can get all of these sorts of um, menopausal symptoms really fast but what this test does with the saliva is it goes all right if you're not dumping those hormones then let's get those hormones dumping out of the system as it should be naturally happening and that will lessen the side effects of the tamoxifen so this is why for me i'm thinking the natural therapies a combination of complementary and natural therapies and western medicine are the best way to go because western medicine goes let's just suppress it let's cut it out let's kill it complementary medicine goes let's build up the system to be able to cope and eliminate things on its own and so it's a really good balance so that's really important information i think for people experiencing um, breast cancer particularly if you're um, estrogen and progesterone positive as I was and many many people are is that these complementary therapies can help you through in really really good ways another thing is I've had insomnia since June chronic insomnia it's, it's been really difficult to deal with the naturopath can recommend ways to cope with that so we're going to deal with that because if my body is so exhausted with um a lack of sleep then it, it can't regenerate it can't the immune system suppressed it, it just really doesn't heal well um so this is this is all the stuff i'm looking into for 2020 so a quick recap 2019 big year huge year for me um it's ended with me moving state dealing with breast cancer um i'm i'm pleased to say i've still got both of them which is great um the scarring's going to be absolutely minimal in in short it basically i look like i have a younger breast <laughs> I, I might have mentioned that before it's an absolute bonus um without the bra on it just looks a bit younger um so it's effectively i've had a breast lift so everyone needs to approach me from the left from now on um i may have said that before um so yeah 2020 is going to be super focusing on health super focusing on getting these complementary therapies happening i have my first western oncologists appointment with the team on next tuesday so week today so we find out what they're going to recommend um, as a path through um, it's also been recommended because i've mentioned I've, I've gone vegan after talking to the naturopath she said um i was telling her some of the symptoms i had from eating paleo and um what came up is that there is a third option there's this standard diet paleo vegan both paleo and vegan are strong contenders in terms of dealing with cancer but then it comes down to how your body deals with thing, things what i didn't know is there's a third one called a pagan system and with the way my body works the reason the paleo wasn't working for me the the naturopath suggested and i'm going to look into this is it does come back to the old blood type and particularly my blood type she's a lot of other blood types it's not as important but with my blood type i'm an a positive 
the any sort of red meats my system's not going to cope with and my body has showed me that but it also means that heavy grains and cereals required for vegan again my body's not going to love that so it sort of leaves me in this uh, in between zone and she mentioned there's this other system which is called a pagan which is a combination of your paleo and your vegan so you do eat meat but only in terms of really <coughs> excuse me good quality fish organic chicken and turkey not every night so you you supplement with a little bit of meat lots and lots of veggies uh something a bit along the lines of the um oh what did she call it i've forgotten i've forgotten the name of it and um so i've tracked down uh one of the doctors uh that that works with this system done quite a bit of reading on him before she even mentioned him and so ordered ordered the book to see what he has to say because from what i've been able to research for my particular body this particular system may work very well for me and i think it's about that you know you've got to try different things work out different things and work out what works for your body because nobody is like someone else's body and so you've got to experiment with things so 2020 is going to be a huge year for me uh, now i'm in melbourne i need to start up another business i need to because um, i cannot operate my old business the same way that i did in new south wales different rules and regulations here so effectively i'm i'm taking the best parts of my old business and i have to reformulate repackage and re-promote that so not only on top of my health i'll be doing that as well so lots and lots of exciting things new lifestyle to get into already finding all the yummy places to get food the great food sources locally sourced organic getting into finding that sort of stuff and so 2020 is going to be really exciting i hope that you put in 2019 to rest in the best way possible and that you've got amazing plans for 2020 and i will check back in with you next year talk to you soon